Islam says a lot about protecting the environment. Um, as, as Muslims were asked to be uh, the Khalifa for the planet, um, it was, the earth was entrusted upon mankind um, and it's really a covenant between God and mankind to protect it. Um, there's verses throughout the Quran that talk about um, using nature as a source of reflection to think about think about God's bounty. Um, and verses in the Quran are called ayat, which means signs. And um, nature is referred to as signs in the Quran as well. So to me, the way I see that is like when you're walking in nature, you're walking in verses of the Quran. And so to to it, it only makes sense for, to protect the, these signs for future generations to come so they too can enjoy these signs. Um, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, also was um, a, an environmentalist of his time. He was a big advocate of animal rights. Um, he uh, was uh, very conscious of water consumption. He was very aware of food consumption, saying ne never to eat, overeat. and um, there's also this hadith um, that talks about him um, giving a sermon next to this tree um, and he, there was a pulpit that was later built for him and so he, he stopped giving the sermon by the tree and um, the hadith says that the, that the tree was actually weeping um, and missing his presence and, and then he went back and like, like embraced the tree. And, um, and it's just really symbolic, you know, the connection that, um, that he had for the world around him. Um, and I, I believe as Muslims we're really taught to reflect and think about the world around us because it deepens our own consciousness. And um, unfortunately, environmental degradation is really a reflection of, of the spiritual malice, malice that exists within us. Um, because, I mean, when my room is messy, there's obviously something discombobulated within me, right? It's a reflection of the world within me. Um, and so I think we can use that example as a, as a um, more broadly, right? About like if we, if our world is in disarray, then what does that say about the state of our own selves?